your golden haired brother talk about dramatic i might look like i'm here for the boys i need feminine energy this anime has been on my watch list for a long time finally and i mean finally i'm watching it Woo! it's Faye from tiny wave tv and this is my legend of the galactic heroes journal what i'm gonna do is documenting my experience of the anime as i watch it by recording journal entries every few episodes and since i've already started yeah i've watched two movies and 10 episodes i was like how about i do some journaling so entry one let me tell you all what i watched so far and my thoughts get you a cup of tea not coffee this very important and let's get into it there are different ways to approach the series what i'm following is along the lines of this high dive recommended watch order golden wings i skipped that for now and then this one and then or i didn't do or i watched overture to new war and i started the ova series from episode one let's start with my conquest is the sea of stars it couldn't go wrong with that title and it didn't when i first saw the poster for this years ago i was like who is this guy he's so majestic after watching this i can definitely say i like reinhardt when everyone was trashing his origins i couldn't help but root for him but i'm afraid i'm team wenli he, i just vibe with him more he's not just smart but also experienced and more mature he got a good understanding of history and how the world around him works he knows how things can get complicated and doing what you want to do or what you believe is right to do just becomes difficult the way these two hit it off from afar was amazing you know like getting to know each other based on their moves on the back battlefield electric dynamic right off the bat another character dynamic that i really liked in this movie was dusty and wendy's girl they got such positive therapeutic vibes also i realized dusty sounded very distinct i was like why is this why do i feel this way what is the sale so yeah i had to pause the movie and look him up and y'all it's kazuko in nowhere you know kakashi sensei ah! so i might look like i'm here for the boys and that's not too far from the truth but girl the world of the anime is mind-blowing the scope of this war all the years it lasted the amount of people involved with this space as the battlefield there's a sense of distance that comes with all of this which is really sci-fi right i love sci-fi retro sci-fi even better hand-drawn animated spaceship shooting laser beams i dig that shit but take the sci-fi away and it's just our world people lose their lives every day in armed conflicts because of someone else's greed the story hits home it's so tangible it's unsettling also nice hair especially z it's so fluffy overall the movie did a nice job getting me wanting to watch more and um i can't not mention this final scene young wendy junsho oh my god reinhardt von musel talk about dramatic oh my god them fading into each other And then fading out, cause who are we? Just a speck of dust within the galaxy. After that, I watched Overture to a New War. We got Wenli in a love triangle, my least favorite trope to see in anything. And it's adulting, you know, I already said it. It gets complicated and you don't get the girl. Things are much simpler on Reinhardt's side. He sees the stars. He goes for them. He sees Zeke's hair, finds it fluffy, goes for it. I love that scene. Watching Overture was worth it because of that scene. Now, starting with the movies had its pros and cons, I guess. For the first couple of episodes, I was positive that I have ruined my palette. The quality of the visuals is just better in the movies. I mean, they're movies after all. But it could also be after watching the detailed, more fleshed out narrative of the overture, there wasn't anything new in the first two episodes for me. They just felt like recap episodes. Episode one through two, five, it took longer for me to go through than 5 till 10. It felt like things weren't all that interesting, but that Azurlorn operation, that shook things up for me. Them infiltrating the enemy fortress, taking out the axes, close combat, and... Oberstein. Yeah, I got a new boo. It kind of gives me none of mean vibes with that voice. I mean, so that guy's voice is more like Rrr. this one's more bright, I'd say. Actually, I know the voice actor from another role of his that I really, really like. So yeah, I need more Oberstein now. This next thing that I'm gonna say, I don't know how to put it. <laughs> 
<laughs> like in the beginning for, for the most part in the beginning i was like where are the women like <laughs> i need feminine energy i'm depleted will there be any interesting female characters it's not like i want galactic heroines you know but like a character that has motivations intentions beyond guys you know <laughs> like beyond their connection to the male protagonists i didn't like jessica right off the bat John Robert. oh my god but i loved the fact that she didn't stay in the love interest role now there's nothing wrong with being the love interest but i think what i wanted was was someone to be assertive you know and that's exactly what she became in episode three when she called that politician dude on his bullshit she was so real for that i was like you go girl i'm on your side and the fact that she keeps fighting against war she's got my blessing there are two other ladies that picked my interest the lieutenant girly and the baroness love their attitude oh my god check out this scene your golden haired brother like <laughs> Doesn't she know her brother is blonde? Anyway, this script has become so long as frightening. I'm gonna wrap this up. See y'all in the next entry. <laughs> Your golden hurt. <laughs>